hello what is up everyone my name is sagar and thank you so much for watching this video and in this video i am going to show you how to integrate ads in flutter app by the way google team has changed its name to firebase admob to google mobile ads let me show you this package so this is the package name is a google mobile ad and this package is only work on the two platform android and ios ads is not going to work on web and uh, desktop for right now in this video i will just show you uh, two types of ads first will be this banner ad and second will be the interstitial ad interstitial ad is a full screen ad okay and pre Previously, uh, we can only add banner ad either on the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen. But this time, we can add the banner ad into our uh, list of the widget or a column widget here. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. So for that, you need to add a package which name is a Google Mobile Ads. I already add this package into this pubspec.yaml. After that, here is a some prerequisite you need to add here. So it is say that you need to have a target API level at least. 19 so let's go to this android folder app uh, and here is a build gradle and you need to add here minimum sdk version should be 21 here it is saying that you need to have 19 but i am adding here a 21 second will be the compile sdk version should be 28 and i am adding here a 30 for a future purposes so that i will not get any error okay after that if you wanted to add uh, this platform specific set setup for ios so for that for the iOS setup, you need to go to the iOS runner. Here you will find the info playlist and you need to add this um, Android application ID here, which is a GDAC application identifier. I will put a link in the description of the GitHub link so you can download this uh, code so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. And next will be the Android manifest file for, for Android setup. For that, you need to open this Android app source main android manifest file and here you need to add here the application id which is this android value okay after that close this android folder go to this main dot dot i am just creating here a simple void main and here we have a simple app bar which is saying that flutter mobile ads okay after that we need to import here this package import mobile ads google mobile ad dot dot file okay after that we are going to uh, create here an instance so for that i will say mobile ads dot instance dot we need to initialize here okay if we are running any initialization or any method before uh, calling this my app so for that you need to write one line for that which is widget flutter binding dot in ensure initialize okay after that we are going to create an instance first will be the banner add so banner add and here it is saying that non nullable instance so for that i will use here a let keyword okay let keyword and second will be the boolean variable so boolean variable will help us to check if the banner id is working or not and let me maximize this window mm, let me close this window okay and i will create here a boolean variable bool is is banner add ready it will check and i wanted to give this um, default value to false okay create here a init state and here i am going to call a banner method so banner add and here i will say a banner add okay here it is asking us a four property okay first property is a size so i need to initialize the size add size dot uh, right now i just wanted to use the banner ad banner size okay after that it is going to ask us a add unit id so for that we need to create one separate file which is a add helper and here i already create um, a class which is a add helper and we are using a together method okay first for the banner add unit id and second for interstitial add unit id and i'm going to check here a condition if the platform is android you need to return this add unit id if it is uh, ios you need to return this add unit id and if it is not supported platform so for that you need to uh, return this error okay and if you wanted to use this platform so for that you need to import this dot dot io okay so for that i will use here that uh, class add helper dot 
banner add unit id okay after that it is asking us a listener for the listener i will say a banner add listener here banner add listener has a property so first property i wanted to use is a on load uh, on add loaded so here i will say add ha here i will just uh, use a underscore and here i will set state our boolean variable to true so that if add is loaded you need to um, change the value from false to true so for that i will use is banner add is ready is equal to true after that there is another property if our add fail for that i wanted to add this condition fail to load if our uh, add fail to load so for that i am going to pass some parameter which is add and error okay and here i will say print fail to load a banner add and i am going to string interpolation with the dollar sign error which is this uh, parameter error dot message whatever message we are going to show into our console okay and here i will say is banner add ready is equal to false if we are getting a error to load our banner so i will say false to this boolean variable okay and i will dispose this add here so add dot dispose sorry semicolon after that and here it is also asking us a parameter which is a add request so i will use here a add request if you wanted to load uh, this banner so i will use here a load method like this okay and let's just create our uh, design so i will use here a column widget column okay column has some children and children has a container okay container should have a height of 70 and the color should be color should be colors dot red okay and i wanted to give a maximum uh, width to this uh, container so for that i will use here a cross axis alignment cross axis alignment to stretch and i will just copy paste this line and i will just change the color to indigo and third will be deep orange and fourth will be purple okay and in between i wanted to add add so for that i'm going to check a condition if is uh, banner ad is ready if the banner ad is ready i'm going to show a container okay and in this container our height will be banner add dot size dot height and we need to convert uh, it is asking us a double so i am going to convert it into a double okay so like that i am going to copy paste for a width and i need to change here a width also and in the child we need to return here a add widget so that we can show ads to this container and here we are going to passing this banner ad here so i will say a banner ad like this okay pretty much it i'm going to hot start it a few moments later so here is our ad guys and i i just initialize our banner ad here and if you wanted to change the banner ad size so for that you need to go here a uh, banner ad size so i am going to change here to uh, medium rectangular let's just hot reload it why it is not working let's just hot restart it yeah it is working fine so we just added um, we just changed the size of our banner and after that i wanted to give some space uh, to this container so for that i will use a size box height to 20 and i will copy this size box and give it after the widget after our container widget let's just hot 
reload it yes it is giving us an error this widget is already in the widget tree if you replace this add widget in a list make sure you create a new instance so if you are getting this problem so for that you need to dispose this uh, banner ad so i am going to create her a create here a dispose method and in this dispose method i will dispose uh, this ad which is a banner ad dot dispose i'm going to hot restart it and it will not going to show you any error okay uh, so we just initialize the banner ad next will be the interstitial ad so for that we also need to create a two variable first will be the interstitial ad space interstitial ad and it is also giving us an error same non nullable instance so for that i am going to use a let keyword here and next will be a boolean variable it is going to check if our interstitial ad is ready or not so i am going to say is sorry for that let's maximize our window is interstitial ad ready and i will uh, set a value to false by default okay and let's just integrate this value add this value into our init state so for that i will say interstitial add dot load we are going to load into this uh, init state first it is asking the add unit id so we are going to use this add helper add helper class add helper and i'm going to change here to uh, interstitial add unit second it is asking us a request so i'm going to provide here add request method third it is asking us a add callback method so i am going to pass here interstitial add callback method interstitial add callback method here mm, so here it is giving us a two method so we need to initialize this two method first if the add is loaded so i am going to say if our add is going to load i am going to pass one parameter which is add and here i am going to say this dot interstitial add is equal to add like this and second i'm going to change this value false to true so that yes our ad is loaded is let me just copy it i don't know why auto correction is not working for me interstitial ad is ready so i'm going to say true okay on loaded uh, method is completed next property is completed next will be uh, if our ad is failed to load so for that we need to pass some error so i'm going to pass a error here and the error will be print fail to load interstitial ad sorry for capital n and here i am going to string interpolation it with the error with this uh, parameter uh, error dot message so yeah so we just initialize our interstitial add to load and here i am going to dispose this method because if we have a memory lane and if we initialize a method uh, adds so for that you also need to dispose that method so for that i am going to say interstitial add dot dispose we also need to dispose it if we created it and here i am going to create one um, elevated button so elevated button and here we are going to pass some methods so let's add a property of child which will be a text and text will be interstitial add and here i wanted to give some padding to it so padding will be a 60 and same for this column widget i wanted to give some spacing around this column widget will be a six few inches later integrate um, this uh, on press property here so for that first i'm going to check a condition if is interstitial ad is ready if it is ready you need to show this ad so for that i will say interstitial ad dot to show it like this okay so we just completed our app right now and it is showing us an error okay it is saying that lower camel case so we are going to rename it to is too small 
let's yeah it is just change it and this is our ad and i'm going to hot restart our app so that we can uh, check our app so here it is our app guys uh, first we initialize the banner ad and second we are going to um, see our interstitial ad so i'm going to click on this interstitial ad and here it is our ad guys thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any problem implementing these ads let me know in the comment section and next video will be on rewarded ad and native ad so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video